గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బాయ్ సాయిబాబు శంకర ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ ది అహోబిలం ఇష్యూ యు ఆల్ నో దట్ రీసెంట్లీ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ వాంటెడ్ టు టేక్ ఓవర్ అహోబిలం టెంపుల్ అండ్ అపాయింట్ an executive officer to administer the regular functions of the temple but it was objected to by so many persons lot of red petitions have been filed <coughs> we are discussing one such red petition wp number 231 by 2020 filed by cr sridharan <coughs> it came up before the bench of honorable chief justice of andhra pradesh that is prashant kumar mishra and dv ss somaya jullu and they have categorically held that a ho bilam mat should be maintained by the gngars gers only the government cannot take over the so called a ho bilam mat temple it is violation of article 26 sub clause d of the constitution of india you all know article 26 deals with the freedom to manage religious affairs subject to public morality decency public order etc so d is relating to other religious issues other religious matters right coming to the facts of the case please remember you have to hear the both sides of the, the arguments on both sides the petitioner stated that and he has uh, actually apprised the court regarding the uh, background of the ahobilam temple or sthala prasasyam the importance of the site according to brahmanda purana according to brahmanda purana ahobilam is the place where lord narasimha swami ogra narasimha swami he killed hiranyakashipa here you know hiranyakashipa who is the father of the so called ardent uh, bhakta of uh, vishnu that is prahlada father of prahlada you may have seen you might have seen telugu alangar manakanta bhakta prahlada cinema chusi untam esvirangara gar hiranyakashipa stambham balagatte stambham nunchi ogra narasimha vachi he kills hiranyakashipa so it is the place where lord narasimha swami killed hiranyakashipu and saved prahlada and after the so called let's say ugra roopam is over the lord we insisted or he wished to stay in a cave in this uh, so called aho bilam bilam means cave right it is in karnool institute you all know then the as the mat the bilam and he has got a mat this mat please is located in tamil nadu office is located in tamil nadu so the gers hereditary gers they are running the matam as well as the temple as the permanent trustees continuously without any disturbance right from 1915 according to archives number 66 that is archaeological department now the public interest litigation wp is filed and the government wants to appoint an eo so alleging that the state has no power as per endowments act 30 by 87 in this connection i don't know whether you remember in 2014 itself uh, the government said uh, they can not appoint any eo they don't want to interfere in uh, religious matters if i am correct i believe that so now the petitioner says by appointing the evo the status and the independence of the mat is taken away by the government so this is the objection now the arguments on behalf of uh, the government that is advocate general s sri ram he stated that temple and mat they are different the government wants to take over all of the temple because the mat is located in a uh, matham is located in tamil nadu temple is in andhra pradesh so please remember the provisions of endowments act they say that state of xap can appoint an executive officer to streamline the 
functions of the temple. This I have explained you in my previous videos also. Why Evo is necessary? Yes, the government can do it. Of course, when the matter is probably put before the Honorable Court, Honorable Court suggests that uh, the jurisdiction or entitlement under law to appoint EO is uh, not at all correct by the state of EAP. That means the mutt and the temple, they have to be run by the hereditary GS only. This is a good judgment, of course, it's against the government, we can't help. Anyway, very good judgment given by the Honorable High Court of uh, Andhra Pradesh in a public interest litigation. Please read the judgment and enrich your legal knowledge. Thank you very much.